we're back with more frenemies. Uh, we were gone for two weeks and we're getting overwhelmed here. Let's take a step back. I want They did this in three days. The H three crew did this in three days. It's amazing. Well, no, we've been working on this. No, he said Saturday he put no. these videos together. We've been planning it for a while, but Ian did. Ian, you, the crew did great. I mean, all all praise be to the crew. This is amazing. Go ahead. Yep. Oh, we have, we're going to do crew. the categories. <clears throat> God, I, I just there's so much to talk about. So wait, let's talk about your I engagement we before this, we do. I thought we should do this category. Okay. okay. Oh my God, everyone's like, what is this show? It's such a mess. Because <clears throat> we have so much. Talk okay, about. so tell so me, how did Moses think, uh, propose to you? <laughs> He's still talking to the ring. <laughs> I definitely wasn't expecting it because I was dressed as oh my God. People thought I was like in blackface that day because we had a shoot. Planned really? from oh, the was it the Jasmine thing? Yeah, yeah. I w but also we are dressed as Jasmine Jafar, which is like the bad guy from the movie, and she's like a slave to him in that outfit. Oh, I thought you were Aladdin. No, but do I you guys do Daddy Dom shit? <laughs> you do, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, but are you, is, are you are you are you submissive or dominant? No, of course sum uh, submissive. Oh, you are. Abba, I'm Tinoke. Tinoke. Oh my god, that's so <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, it definitely Abba's daddy. Or dad in Hebrew. And Tinoke is baby girl. Gross. Anyways, um, so so yeah, we I had this shoot plan for a while, and I just w I got a really crazy spray tan the day before, and so well, it, I don't know. I guess he just knew that I wanted to be glam, so he thought me as Princess Jasmine was like my glam, but that was actually a cosplay. That's not me glam. Oh, so were you a little <laughs> upset that he proposed then? No, I definitely wasn't upset. I was so excited. I just was like, you're as like as not doing now. It, <laughs> I was like, wait! <laughs> I had a fat belly. My belly was out. I was like, oh my god, he's putting me to the side, and I have a fat belly, and I'm just like, oh. No. She doesn't care about her belly, so I don't know why she's saying she cares. Like, she doesn't care. <laughs> I mean, really. No, and my nails were broken because I had video shoots the day before, so my nails were like short. Yeah, okay, maybe broken nails. <laughs> that sucks because you know you want to show off the ring. But you didn't know that he was going to propose. No, I yeah. would have got my nails done. Like, I was, yeah. I was. The video was really nice. <laughs> yeah. I was, wonder if we should watch it. It was really sweet. I think, I don't know how many people have seen it. It was really beautiful. You were, yeah. you were, you were so very happy and it was a very joyous video. I was very shocked for <laughs> like so many reasons. One, we just got this house. So I literally did not think he was going to like get a ring. Like that was the commitment for me. So I was like, we probably won't have a ring for a couple months. Maybe it's not even our one year anniversary yet. So I'm like, maybe our one year anniversary, like March 5th, like 14th and. Oh, you guys will be together for a year in March? Yeah, we met wow, March 14th. Wow, time, time. That's crazy. So I just wasn't expecting it, but I was really happy. Like, the first thing he said, too, was, like, I called your dad, which was so crazy. Because, like, who thinks to call, like, my dad? And That's my dad was classic. so happy. Not any guy. Any guy I've dated has met my dad once. Only <laughs> once. Moses has met him a multitude of times. They talk all the time. Like, they, like, he loves Moses. Like That's what I mean with Moses. See how involved Moses is with Trisha's family? And the fact that Trisha now, she's excited to be part of the family, what she's saying now, and how it all disappeared. I, that's why I think it's more on Moses' end. I think Moses, again, had a problem, an issue with his family, and then Trisha just went along with it. Because if he really wanted a relationship with his family, Trisha would have fell in line. Because I don't believe your partner can turn you away from your family unless you were leaning in that direction anyway. Because how can someone be close to their family and then tell me not to be close to my family? You know what I mean? So uh, that's what I think. And he said they talked for like an hour. And really? Wow. Look he's at like, him. My dad, you're, I called your dad. And I was like, how did you get his number? Like, anyways, it was so complicated. And then he was like, he's like, he, he said he'd be so, he's so happy and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh my gosh. So then I was like crying because of that. And then I was crying because he was proposing. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. And then what about when you saw the ring? Oh my God, I lost it. I mean, that was. To me, like, I don't, I think this is why I'm so happy. Like, I, like, nothing bothers me with him anymore. I'm just like, The ring. Oh. You're like, dude, whatever. <laughs> whatever is wrong with you, just talk to the ring. I can't believe Holy this. Shit, I, dude. like, we looked up, like, J-Lo's to Ben Affleck. You get a mortgage on your, uh, on your place? <laughs> you guys believe me now. You thought Ethan let up. Ethan is not letting up. He knows it's not adding up, you guys. He knows. And again, Moses is burning right now. You think a man can stand there <laughs> even though he's off screen and have another man question where he got the money from to buy the ring to propose to his fiance? You think Moses likes what's going on right now? 
Ethan, this is why Moses doesn't like you, Ethan. <laughs> Moses, why can't you tell Ethan why you don't like him? Why are you acting like everything is cool, but behind his back, you're like stewing. You tell him, Ethan, you make me feel so small by questioning where I'm getting my money from. <laughs> All you have to do is say that, Moses. You and Ethan could have squashed this beef. Ethan doesn't know you have beef with him. Ethan doesn't know. That's what I'm saying. Ethan's not being malicious because he doesn't know that you had beef with him. You're sitting there thinking because he's all Mr. Philosophy. I personally believe that you either love everyone or hate everyone. There's no middle ground. That's why he can't tell Ethan he has beef with him. That's why, because he has to pretend that he love everybody. Moses, you hate everybody, according to your philosophy. You tell Ethan you don't like when he's making fun of you, that it hurts your feelings. That's all you have to do. You act like everything's not bothering you when it's bothering you. Just tell the man, listen, this isn't what I don't like. I don't like when you do this to me. It hurts my feelings. It makes me sad. When a child is two, you teach a child about expressing their emotions. If they're happy, if they're sad. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hand. As a side note, anybody with a toddler who is having a temper tantrum or about to have a temper tantrum, you start singing that song and watch what happens. If that child doesn't get up off the floor, wipe his tears and start clapping. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry. That's Trish's ring. Okay, back to Ethan and Moses. Moses, you should know to express yourself by now. Stop pretending everything is all cool and chill and you're all above everything. I'm going to get into you on my video about you. Don't worry. Okay, you know what? I should stop. Okay, I'm saving this for the video, okay? On Moses. Coming soon. <laughs> he became a diamond broker. He went to this. It's a blood diamond. <laughs> That's the only way he could afford it. Uh, hey, you see how Trisha's laughing? Trisha's laughing it up i know that burns moses more this is, takes him back to when they're goofing on his i am water channel <laughs> trisha is laughing it up and ethan's still looking at mr ring <laughs> you blood diamond you i knew you're illegal i'm gonna report you to the police you went this is a blood diamond <laughs> probably <laughs> You hear that? He just said probably. <laughs> this is why Moses doesn't like you, Ethan. <laughs> this is why. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is why. No. Um. Uh. No. But like, honestly, like I looked at it. Like we looked at JLo and Ben Affleck's like ring, and it was only like five or six carats, and this is like a nine oh, carat. Please. That's why I don't feel sorry for Trisha. She's bragging about her ring. She's comparing it to Ben Affleck and J. Trisha, like, who cares, Trisha? Like, really? Don't let me pull up J-Lo's ring. You know what? I'm going to pull up J-Lo's ring just because of this. You know, I'm going to pull up J-Lo's ring. This is J-Lo's ring. And this is Trisha's. Now you tell me which one you would want to be proposed to with. You tell me. And don't lie. Don't lie because you know Trisha reads my comments and you don't want to hurt her feelings. Tell the truth. Which ring would you want? One of them is nine carats, so she says. And the other one is, she said, five, six carats. Which one do you want? That's all I want to know. Okay, let's go. Losers, idiots. No Halo either. I, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, why are you bringing that up, Trisha? Like, really? See? Do you want to show off? Okay. If you're going to show off, that ring better sparkle. That's all I'm saying. And not the fake rainbow sparkle. The real flawless diamond sparkle. Where is it? How's your ring cloudy already? That's what I want to know. So cloudy, you have to walk around with an umbrella. Just in case. Why? How? I always... No, no shade to anyone who has a Halo, but I'm like, ugh. Trish, the only shade I see is your ring. <laughs> Walk too close to it, <laughs> your shadow will disappear. I hate like engagement rings with Halo, so I thought he might get me. Wait, what's a Halo? The Halo is like the little diamonds around it <clears throat> to oh, make it a little pathetic. bigger. Pathetic. It's not pathetic. It's but... cheap, plebeian and bullshit. <laughs> pathetic, losers. <laughs> Oh, Trisha, like I said, I don't care about people's engagement ring. I really don't. It's just the fact that she's going on and on about her cloudy ring. The nerve. The nerve. That's why I have to comment. It's the nerve of her. <laughs> dig into them, Ethan. Just dig into them. I will get you a shovel. <laughs> no, but can I just tell you, like, he cussed, he designed. <laughs> Ethan's making this face right now. <laughs> if you saw a full shot of his face, this is the face he's making. 
find it, but I had shown him like a dream <clears throat> ring of mine that looked just like this. And when I saw that he like, and I showed him maybe once. So like the fact that he remembered like one time when I was probably like high or something, I was just like, oh, wow, that was really cool. <sighs> Trisha, I'm sure if people have watched you as long as they have, they would have known what ring you wanted because you go on and on and on about this ring because i know there was an episode before this before moses proposed where you're going on and on and on about your fake ring so why are you saying you like you told him once you told us on the show already because that's the only reason why i know because i know you mentioned it on the show you're gonna buy a fake ring you're gonna buy a ring or something you're gonna buy a ring i know you said it if i can find a clip you said it already, so stop just making weird stuff. Oh, he remembered. All he had to do was go to YouTube, find that episode, and press play. He didn't have to remember anything. It's not a big deal. Cool. I like, yeah, because it's forever, you know? It's forever if it's real. I think that one might be for six months. <laughs> and it fit my fat fingers. He was so, he's so smart because he always listened to me. I would go into like stores and try on rings, and they would never have my size, and they would like measure. And... Way to go, Moses. So... This is Ethan patting little Moses on the head. I know you are my older brother-in-law, but let me pat you on the head. Good job. <laughs> Ethan, that's why he doesn't like you. But Moses, sit Ethan down and tell him why you don't like him. <laughs> Ethan doesn't know you have disdain for him. So you need to sit him down and you say, Ethan, this is the reason why I don't like you and why I have a problem with you. And you guys can hash it out, okay? Well, I got to say that I am very happy. I'm very excited. It's so crazy that you're going to be my sister-in-law. I know. We're like actually family now. That's so crazy. And do you see how excited they are right now? Like, they are so excited to finally be in-laws. You know what they remind me of? Like, you know, like cousins that see each other every, like once a month or whatever. And then they get together and they're so happy. They're staying at their aunt's house and they're like jumping on the bed because they're so happy. Like, yes, yes, we get to play all weekend. Staying up all night. Like, they're so excited. And like that happiness lasted all of what, like two seconds? Like, this is them at their height. <laughs> and then after, it just falls from there. But they were excited to be related and just to, like, goof off together. But little did they know that there was issues between Moses and Ela and Moses and, uh, and Ethan. But Ethan didn't know. Ethan had no idea. And see this right here? This closeness between Ethan and Trisha? Moses had to put an end to it. See that split right in the middle? Moses is like, no, no, no. No, no, no. You guys are too happy right now. I have to split you up. <laughs> it's like uh, what the government should have done to Amazon and Walmart. Moses is like, nope, they're too big right now. <laughs> I gotta split you up. <laughs> and you're invited to the wedding. We already planned the wedding dates. I won't say the dates, but we already have them planned. Like, it's so weird. Set. Yeah. Oh, you, you have a date? Yeah. Like, set. we have three because we have LA, Israel, and Maui for real. So we have the three dates. Why Maui? Um, cause he's never been, and we watched an Adam Sandler movie called Just Go With It, and he got married at this hotel in Hawaii, and so now I want to get married there, too. But who's gonna go to Maui? Like, our family, like, you guys, the immediate family. I'll come to Maui. Yeah, it'd be like my, like, it'd oh, be like... This is a second wedding, this one's bullshit, I was already at the, I was already at two of them, cause I'm gonna have to go to Israel and LA. Right, so LA will be over, like, So I'm gonna have to go to yeah. three fucking weddings, yeah. two of them destinations yeah. for you guys? That's out. You're bougie, though, like... Well, yeah, you know I mean? but who else could do that? My family. Really? Yeah. So we're going to okay. all be having fun. Damn, like, it's, it's going to be, you know, like, it's just going to be so much fun. Like, Shane will probably be like my best man. So, like, they'll come over. Like, it'll be like, oh, that'll fun. be nice. Yeah. It's going to be like, oh, I'm so excited because we'll probably get like married in like Jaffa, which is like the old like city. And we're going to have like Aladdin and Jasmine themed. Like, don't <laughs> fucking no, do no, that. No, no, no. Like, white and gold. Like, pretty. Like, classy. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> no, no, Moses, no. don't <laughs> allow that. get married at the end of the movie. You can't go to Jaffa and get married as Jasmine and Aladdin. That's crazy. <laughs> Themed esque, like you're not gonna allow that, right? <laughs> like, I don't know what she's saying right now, I don't know that place, but I'm sure whatever she's saying, she's being insulting. And you see how, like, Ethan had to um, look up to Moses because Ethan does that at times, he will always look off the screen to Moses and like tell him, Oh, you, sh you need to rein her in, you need to rein her in, you know what I mean? He was always doing that, which I'm sure <laughs> Moses didn't like either. You don't know what we're talking about. It's like, it's like the when they get married at the end, they have white and gold outfits and it's inspired by that. It's not like Aladdin and You're not going to be in tan face. No, I'm not going to be in okay. black hair. Like, right. <sighs> Well, I did want to read. <clears throat> there was one congratulatory tweet that I thought was funny. Oh, no. That I thought wanted to read right up the top. <clears throat> Keemstar had a congratulations for both of us. <laughs> <clears throat> How sweet. He said, Ethan Klein, he misspelled my name. He does? My last name, K-L-I-E-N. Mm -hmm. For someone who's thinking about me, on oh, by the way, he sent this tweet on Christmas morning. 
not because he's on the East Coast. So he sent this tweet at 12 o'clock Christmas Day <laughs> with his family. He's sitting around drinking Aww. eggnog. The fire's crackling. He's with his daughter. And he goes, mm. he's like, Ethan, Ethan Klein. How weird to like make my proposal like about you then to yeah. also like tweet that. I was like, yeah. oh, that's kind of weird. But okay. He goes, Ethan Klein has had the worst year ever. <laughs> One, he lost subs. <clears throat> I don't know what he's talking about with that. On H3? Excuse I feel me. like you guys gained subs on here. Yeah, we had a great year. Mm -hmm. Lost sponsors. Mm. It's okay. That's true. True. <laughs> Lost respect. I mean, we could debate that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dan. Well said. <laughs> Dan, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> I missed that. That was good. Gained weight. True. Lost weight. No, now you. Well, overall, I, I did gain a lot of weight. Mm. <laughs> well, anyway, he said, Ethan, if you see this, I hope you have a much better 2021. And I'll say that the fact that my brother in law and Trisha are engaged is a great way to start Aww. the year. I love you both, and I'm just very happy and excited for the future that you guys hold. So. I love you both. I'm telling you, Moses had to break that up. Moses had to break that up. He did not like it. No sorry, Bob. Congratulations, Moses. Great job. You pulled out all the stops. God damn, oh, dude. God. You, so... you know how I proposed to Ela? How? Not as good as this <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> I told you when he says that, he means it. <laughs> <laughs> what you do? It's actually, it's so embarrassing. You're going to get mad at me if I tell you. No, tell me. I need to know this. <laughs> There's nothing. How much was the ring? Or how many carrots was the ring? The ring was trash. Did you upgrade since? Uh, Trisha, just, oh, she's so annoying. Like, did you upgrade? And how many carrots was the ring? That's what I'm saying. She's so nonsense. Why are you caring about his ring? And her ring. So Ela, ha she bought an engagement ring when we were in Mexico for like uh It's just a really sweet, cute little ring. It was only like a hundred bucks. Wait, you didn't pick out the ring? We went and picked it out together. But then you got it and surprised her. No, she we bought it on the spot. <laughs> oh, okay, that's cute. Yeah. Okay, okay. That's it. Um, and how many carrots? Trisha, nobody's competing with you. You see these people that compete with you, and you don't even know that you're in a competition. But they're competing with you. That's Trisha. With the house, she was asking like, oh, my house is this much square feet. Nobody's competing with you, Trisha. Your ring, what carrot size? You're talking about J-Lo. Who cares? J-Lo's not competing with you, Trisha. Ethan and Hila aren't competing with you, Trisha. Nobody cares about the carrots of a ring. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. You should care. Fine. And you're and Moses. That's okay. But nobody else cares. Carrots? Like a $100 ring. Oh, the $100? Yeah. And you never upgraded? Never that's, up. That's cute, though. I think that's cute. That's cute. You know what's cute, Trisha? Your ring. That's what's cute. Your foggy ring. <laughs> Ships are crashing into the shore. <laughs> I think I like nice. the ring. It's just yeah. like a little red stone cute. and a gold band. Oh. Oh no. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna say about Trisha's ring. Look, everybody. Oh, oh look at this ring. Oh my goodness. It's so easy on the eyes. I'm not blinded at. Oh, it's such a cute ring. Oh my goodness. Look at it, it's so yellow. So I know it's not worth as much because it's yellow. Oh, it's so cute. Future Jim here, just to make a correction while editing. I just realized that Trisha's ring is not yellow. Like all this time I thought her ring was legit yellow. And now I realize it's not supposed to be yellow. <laughs> this is not a yellow ring. Yeah, yeah, that's what, yeah. T have a taste of your own medicine, Trisha. <sighs> but that's like humble our, beginnings. Our med our humble beginnings. What is he, Jesus? Yeah, we were not rich at the time by any Aww. means. And by the way, so far so good, right? I mean, the marriage is working. That's amazing. And you guys are like <laughs> balling, which goes to show once again, it's not all about showing off your wealth and whatever like that. Like, I feel like I spend way more. Like, people think I'm like richer <clears> than I am because I spend so much. So people are like, wow, she's balling. Like, it's like, yeah, I make a lot of money, but I also like spend a lot. You guys have it like in the bank, set for life. Like, that's better. You would be too if you didn't have like ten seventy thousand dollar burkas. Right. Like one thing right. better. You know, <laughs> I like flashy. I like to live my life because I could die tomorrow. So I like to live my life. But at the same time, there's something to be said about like being humble and saving money. Like that's cute too. 
Uh, when someone's just so materialistic, okay, be it for yourself, that's fine. But Ela and Ethan are so opposite of that. So you bringing it to his front door doesn't make any sense. You're not impressing anybody. You're not impressing him. He doesn't care. He's just looking at that ring and thinks you guys are ridiculous to buy a ring that expensive. But then he knows that you guys either got ripped off or it's a fake. <laughs> like, <laughs> either you know it's a fake <laughs> or poor you poor, silly, naive people bought a fake ring and you didn't realize, you know? Either you knew it was a fake or you didn't realize. But either way, he's pitying you right now. So you can keep your little aww to yourself. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. I hope you are too. Thank you. But I will say, once my lease is up on my dog shit <laughs> Tesla X, I'm getting a Rolls Royce. Are you? You notice how Moses didn't ask Ethan how he can afford it? <laughs> you notice nobody in that room stopped Ethan mid-sentence and asked him if he can afford it. That's how I know Ethan has money. Nobody's questioning him. All right? If you want to know why I'm questioning Moses, that's why. Yeah, you go buy that car, Ethan. You go buy it because I know you have the money to buy it. Your lease is over on one car, you're going to get another car. You know what I mean? You're not sitting there with five cars on your driveway. You go buy that car, Ethan. You go buy it. Well, I don't know. I don't want this weird Rolls Royce life that you have. Like, well, mine's you get into weird... Your life is so weird in that Rolls Royce, it scares me. She dramatized everything. He's really thinking she's in danger. <laughs> when it's just a regular Wednesday for her. Anyway, so that's that was that. Congratulations, you guys! I'm so happy, and I'm just <laughs> I, I'm 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 just I'm very I'm very happy. It fills me with joy to see you guys both so happy. I'm so excited to get the wedding. It's like clout. You see again, she wanted that clout at the wedding instead of what she had over here, whatever that was. What's the opposite of clout? <laughs> What's the Google? <laughs> yeah, about th no. I'm kidding. We were going to come. I was just going to because we were beefing. I was like, well, we can't make joke. it. Joke. Oh my god. And his family <laughs> was very happy. His whole family was very happy over in Israel. Like everyone. Okay, here's the thing too. I was going to save it for another thing, but I just have to say it here. Just remember, they did not invite Ela and Ethan to the wedding. They did not give them an invitation. So let that be clear. It's not that they gave an invitation and Ela and Ethan didn't RSVP. Because then you can paint this story a whole other way. These two people did not invite them. So you can't even say you're the better person and say, oh, you know what? We just wanted to put the past behind us and we invited them because we wanted to mend our family and they did not show up to the wedding. You can't run that storyline, Trisha, because you didn't even invite them. And so I'm looking at you, Moses. You invited all your family members except the two that live closest to you in L.A. Here's my thing. And I'm talking about Ela and Ethan that aren't, you know, problematic family members. Like, they're not horrible people. Moses, if you can't get along with the two people closest to you, if you can't get along with them, I'm not going to be believe that you're all love. Because it's easy to love people that are far away from you. It's easy to love your family in Israel because they're in Israel and you see them once in a blue moon or once a year. Everybody's on their best behavior. The fact that you can't mend a relationship to the people that live a hop, skip, and a jump from you, your family members that live right next to you, you can't mend that relationship. Yeah, I'm not going to believe you're all love and love everything. No, you can't. You can't go on. With okay, I'm going to save it for <laughs> his episode. It's coming up. It's coming up. Shane is more clout than us. Shane is like um, mega wedding clout. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> you dodged a bullet with that one, Trisha. Well, I don't know who dodged a bullet <laughs> with that one. If it was Shane or you, Trish. <laughs> it, are you better off not having Shane in your wedding pictures? Or is he better off not being in your wedding pictures? So I guess it's a toss up. We got to just get the most clout we can. This is this is her clout. This is the clout that she she managed to scrape up. Can you got any clout coming to the wedding? Clout. Wait a second. What did you just say, Ethan? We gotta just get the most clout we can. Can you got any clout coming to the wedding? Clout. 
he's, he's got some private. He's got some private clout. Let's go, no, dude. He's super cloudy. No, he's got cloudy. If, yeah. the, if his clout comes, it's gonna be Cloud City. Ethan, this is why Moses doesn't like you, Ethan. <laughs> Sorry. I want you guys to realize why Moses doesn't like him. <laughs> Again, Moses, you need to sit Ethan down and tell him you don't like his slick mouth. That's all you have to do. Ethan will shape up. You, you, you just have to let him know. He doesn't know that you're sensitive, Moses. Stop acting like you're not sensitive, Moses. You're sensitive. Go sit Ethan down and say, listen. <laughs> Stop roasting me, Ethan. I can't take it. <laughs> he's, got, need a smaller he's got more clout than we do well, yeah, in terms of true. people yeah, who know. Moses is bouge. <laughs> Ethan, what are you like, Don Rickles? <laughs> you insult the person, and then at the end, you talk about he's a nice guy. <laughs> I I see you, Ethan. I see you. I see you, Ethan. <clears throat> okay, so anyway, yada yada yada. You guys got married or okay. proposed. Kim was a douche. Okay, let's do the. All right, yo Moses, you're up next, Moses. <laughs> you're up next.